everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to give you my rundown of favorite finishing powders and why you might consider one versus blotting or setting powder. I know, I'm not the first one to talk about this, I get that, um, but I felt like, oh, wait a minute here. Um, it was actually Stephanie Marie, um, she was talking about her favorite uh, finishing powder and gosh darn it, now I can't remember which one it was, so I'm gonna have to check that um, video again. Um, so I, uh, I think some people are like, eh, what do I need that for? Some of us are super oily and so we need blotting powders because we don't like the shine that peeks through throughout the day. Um, and then some of us are so dry that setting powder we feel like, well, that does it, no problem, we're good, good to go. But a finishing powder is something else that anyone can use regardless of if you're dry skin, old, young, whatever, in between. And it is supposed to help blur the makeup application. So everything, so it's kind of like blending. That's what I think of it as. I'm sure some folks think of it as a extra, you know, layer of powder to kind of hold on the makeup, keep it long wearing, um, keep it sweat proof, shine proof, everything like that. I look at it as a, 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 a screen, you know, like a, a veil. And um, that's why when I see ones that are called like soft focus or blurring or velvet or something like that, I'm like, yes, give it to me, give it to me. So I don't know if you can tell on camera, um, maybe you're like, that's kind of how you look all the time, Rebecca. Um, but I have, uh, I put my makeup on kind of, kind of heavy handed. Like I was like, I'm just gonna not even blend this out. Like I've got basically contour and highlighter and then I did my eyeshadow and I didn't even blend it. I mean, I kind of blended it, but yeah, it's, so I've got some pretty hard lines. Not sure if you can see that or not. Um, I don't know why I'm acting weird. It's Friday and it is snowing. It's our second winter storm for the Northwest. It is here. I'm kind of excited. It looks so pretty. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Um, I thought what I would do is I would blur one side of my face. Wait, all I have to do is kind of like, there, there, now I'm blurred. <laughs> Just everyone take off your glasses and yes, ta-da, so much better. Let's see if this really works, <laughs> for one. Um, alrighty, so I have several. Uh, let's talk about this is the Too Faced Peach. This is the Peach Blur. This one's kind of expensive um, and it smells. So if you're kind of anti-fragrance and all that good stuff, um, it has a very nice, I remember when this came out and I liked it. I, I think I talked about it and I liked it. It's got a pink sheen to it. It's supposed to blur. Uh, it's supposed to diffuse and warm the skin and all that good stuff. Oh my gosh. So let's talk about something not as expensive. Um, then there is the HD uh, NYX finishing powder. This is in banana. They also have, did I just say banana? They also have a, a translucent one. I actually kind of like the banana one. This is supposed to be, they have a loose one too, a mineral loose setting uh, finishing powder. This one is supposed to be, this is good too. Um, I think of finishing powders as having just extra, extra milled, so super fine to the texture. This one, you guys, is fabulous. If you have a darker complexion, the Black Radiance Finishing Powder, I have used this as a pale bronzer, but this is good stuff. It's really nice. And then, another favorite of mine is Doll 10 has this, is their blending powder. And that's kind of where I first found a finishing powder was on the Doll 10 QVC uh, page. And I was like, oh. 
And I've talked about Wonder 2. This is, I hit pan on this. They sent me this. This is their selfie powder. This is great for blotting, but keep in mind, this is also good for a very translucent blurring. This is what's going to blend those edges as well. It's also good for setting concealer. I like it. Okay, and then more cheap. I talked about this recently, e.l.f. e.l.f. makes a really nice finishing powder. There's, I believe, three shades. This stuff is silky, 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 silky. And I don't even see it. I might use this one, actually. Also, high end. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder Golden Hour. There's also a refresh powder that's that kind of hydrate. It's supposed to kind of be wet. I actually prefer this one. I thought this was so pretty. I love its warmth. I think it just does such a nice job. It has a sheen to it. If you put powder, I've shown you guys this before on my channel, but if you're new here, if you put powder in the palm of your hand and it kind of makes a shine and it doesn't get in the cracks of your hand, that's a good indicator of what it's going to do on your face. So let's, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys this. I know I'm kind of pale right now, but I don't care. I'm going to take a really soft, actually, I'm going to take a Kabuki brush. This is from Wonder 2. This goes with their, um, their selfie powder. I'm going to just tap off a bunch and let's, let's do this. And you want to just do a light application, you know, you don't want to like, rub hard. You don't want to disrupt your, your makeup. You just want to blend. Did I just give myself way more color than I wanted maybe? Now, how does this side look compared to this side? Is my highlighter kind of softened? It doesn't feel dry. I feel like I look softer. Now I'm going to also blend this out and I'm going to use the e.l.f. one just to kind of keep showing you different, different brands. Okay. And I'm going to go with a soft brush that's short, short, come on, I need a short brush. Oh, here we go. This Real Techniques setting brush is phenomenal. It's great for under your eye area. I love it. Okay, now you can blend eyeshadow with just a clean brush. You don't need powder, but let's just do this for fun. I'm only going right here. So I just kind of blurred it out. This is pretty strong, which actually looks pretty good. Like I could just kind of take my finger and kind of do that, but I, but this is a softer, you know, if you want that, then this is good too. You can also take this if you've kind of overdone the highlight, you know, if you feel like you haven't blended out your contour, just kind of do that. Isn't that great? So finish. I still kind of like this side. I feel like it's like 70s, like dynasty, no, 80s dynasty, like power face. Um, okay, let me do the, I'm gonna do the Too Faced on this side. This is the dupe, this is that dupe brush I showed you guys from Amazon. Okay, I'm loading up my brush and then I'm tapping. So I don't think this does the same, ooh, it kinda, I feel like this doesn't blend it as much as the other one, as the way this one did. Let's do some doll 10. I still feel like I want more. Ooh, this is getting, I think the glue might be giving out on this one. Hey, it was $3. Okay, so I think the Dalton is a really good 
finisher in terms of it gave actually a lighter look. It made this side lighter. Yeah, so you you can really see the difference of what's going on with my face, can't ya? Uh-huh. Yeah. So summer finishing powder, winter finishing powder. Let's do the little trick here. Uh, let me give you a close up. So, Too Faced and Doll 10, sorry for the confusion, um, Black Radiance and Elf. If you can't see a difference, fine, skip it. I'm, I'm not selling you finishing powder, I'm just demonstrating the difference. So, if it's something that you think you can benefit from, blending, um, you know, giving, some of us just kind of, we feel like, we just look at our face and go, oh, is that too, is that too much, is that too much, and we're constantly doubting ourselves, so I feel like this is like that good, like, you're never going to feel not blended if you just kind of buff a little bit of finishing powder, um, but I do like the finish, it doesn't, my face doesn't feel dry. I don't feel cakey, I don't feel, and I think that's the benefit of the formula itself. So you're not just adding blotting powder, which is to cut shine. You're not just adding setting powder, which is to set the foundation. You are literally blurring and just kind of minimizing the edges. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click that subscription button, that notification bell, whatever. Share this video with your friends. Follow me on Instagram and all those good things. I don't know what other good things there are. I'm <laughs> just saying that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye.